what's happening? Anything to ask, anything to report, anything to comment on? I'll try and, I'll try and be brief. Mm. Since starting it with you and, and Bob, but mainly yourself, things have not been the same, okay? And there, up until October, there was a real opening. And then that phantom illness came, Terry. And I was misdiagnosed with something serious. Uh, then things closed down again. Yeah. Something wasn't established. That's my view of it. Yeah. And things are not back to where they were. There's openings, but it's there's something quite stubborn. How can a non-existent thing <laughs> recreate itself? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I do. I do. I do. That's it, basically. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Look, it's all good, Malcolm. You, you know, like, at... Um, you know, if I, if I look at my my own seeming background and, and, and what happened. And then everything that I went through prior, everything I went through prior, okay, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, all right. Yeah, it's, you know, it's not. <laughs> what I imagined was happening prior, or what was imagined, more to the point, um, if I look at that objectively and, and um, We could say this. Um, when it comes to the imagined me story and the, the person and the seeming suffering and everything that's going on, and <clears throat> because of the story that I went through, it seems to... I seem to just naturally have a lot of empathy or, or compassion. Even though I know what's going on, it's like I can step into that. And somehow, I don't know. Uh, shit. <laughs> we all think our me's are so special mm. and, 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 you know, different. And from my experience, especially when I do a lot of work with people, <laughs> all the me's are exactly the same. They're the same, man. I haven't met anybody yet that doesn't have low self-esteem. <laughs> no, I haven't met, haven't met anybody yet that was stuck, unsure, confused, <laughs> alone, isolated. I haven't met anybody yet. Like, they're the same. Even if you go into um, the story, oh, you know, like my life, Especially, you know, like if we're all conditioned culturally the same way, like 
you know, everyone has a house they're either paying off or renting. They've got a car. They've got a job that they either like or don't like and usually don't like. Yeah. They're in a relationship they're not sure about or they think they're sure about or one minute's okay and then the next minute's not okay. Family issues, this is going on. And man, it's like they're exactly the same. It's, it's, it's all the same. And then having sort of gone through that same dream, if you like, No. Every single solitary point along that dream or through that dream needed to happen. <laughs> Just totally needed to happen. Sometimes people say, and I'm, you know, I'm even guilty of it myself, you know, I say, oh, the last thing I saw was blah making it sound like that that was the big aha, uh -huh. yeah. Whereas the, the reality is every single solitary point along that seeming life that I had, all, all of it contributes to the aha, uh -huh. all of it. So sitting outside of a... a, a a coffee shop on a restaurant, a, a table with umbrellas and sitting there having a cup of coffee, pick, reaching for that co coffee, bringing it to my mouth and sipping it and then putting the, the glass down, just as much relevance as that final, oh, it's all the same. It's all the same. Um, so when I hear people go, oh, you know, I feel like I've slipped or I'm losing it or it's not as bright as it was and so on and so forth. I just go, beautiful, right on track. <laughs> the person won't think that. They don't think that, you know. It's just beautiful, like right on track. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of empathy natural empathy for <clears throat> people to get stuck on this because I got stuck and I know what it's like. It was a dream, but it was a shit dream. It was shit, you know. Um, so I kind of see a person's kind of stuck somewhere in the dream where I was stuck in the dream my heart just goes out and I just kind of sit up. I can't help it. I just sit up and like, I know, I know what's happening. You know? you know, and, and back to your question, Malcolm, what will happen is, um, you know, at, at some point you'll find yourself teaching. It just it just happens, man. Especially if you're already kind of in that role, which you are. You know? So that's your natural bent. So at some point, um, you'll just find yourself doing what I do, you know. And someone's going to come along and say exactly what you just said a moment ago. Yeah. And it's just a a, a, um, a natural resonance and a natural connection. You just you can't help but step forward. You just can't help it. You just step forward, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> How can an imaginary thing keep reasserting itself? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, like. <laughs> uh, and, uh, man, I tell you, you're doing really well with this if you can laugh at yourself saying that and hearing that and then kind of going, shit. <laughs> if you can laugh at that man, you're doing really well. Um, 
You know, a moment ago, Malcolm, when you said um, I get away once a year and just spend some time on my own, at some point, uh, at some point, it seems because it's not always, but it seems like that's necessary. Yeah. Um, particularly when we have like this huge opening that occurs. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people, because that's quite a blissful experience. And then I've seen a lot of people get pissed on that. Pissed, drunk on that. Yeah. And they become kind of a bit loose and a bit all over the place and nothing matters, it doesn't matter, it's all happening and there's no one here, there's no one there. It's just, it's just what is. and Which is all true. But a lot of people want to kind of race out and shout that from the rooftops. <laughs> um, and I absolutely don't recommend that. So if that, if that opening occurs, what I attempt to encourage people to, to do if they can, not everyone's in a position to do it. So there'd be varying degrees as to how much they can do it. But if you can get away and just sit. I don't, I don't necessarily literally mean sit, but just be by yourself, be quiet, and just leave the mind alone. Like, and at that point, you can, you actually can. Like there's enough brightness and there's enough awareness and enough knowing that it might be, you know, down t -t -t like a, a little bit. But there's enough knowing, and I'm talking about non-dual knowing, to just leave it, just like the, the stillness and the quietness is so much more attractive, seriously. You know, it's, <laughs> it's like we've been in a nagging relationship our whole life. Nag, 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 nag. <laughs> All of a sudden it goes quiet and you're like, thank God. So you want to... Almost like... Cherish it. Just be still. Be still. Be still. In your seeming, in the, your seeming life that you have, or the, you know, we seem to have. Avoid people for a moment. Yeah, particularly people that might have once triggered you. Or just it's just triggering the mind, you know. <clears throat> now you have an experience, Malcolm, with your health and you're misdiagnosed. Yeah. Um, no, I can totally understand the, the mind being triggered with that. Absolutely totally understand. Of course it would. <laughs> it's you know, it's been a belief for such a long time that I'm an entity and there's such a thing as birth and death. So you would have been confronted with your own mortality, but the mind would have been, I don't know what's going to happen. So you'll talk about that one day. You will. <laughs> like, you'll talk about that one day. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, the, the people that Sailor Bob often used to refer to it as a uh, um, <coughs> a consolidation period. Yeah. Like the lights will turn on, and like whoa! And you say, "Good, now don't go anywhere. Just stay with this, because." Experience is direct. I just stay with this, yeah. and at that point, you're not naming you're not naming it consciousness or awareness or beingness or just this. And at that point, this will be very, very well understood. Yeah, just this. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. So all that's happened, Malcolm, is mine just got reactivated for a moment. That's all. Like, it's as simple as that, yeah. Um, and even through that process, you're always all right. <laughs> you're always all right. No matter what mine's doing, it can be kicking and screaming and, Hi. <laughs> Karina's arrived. <laughs> it can be um, kicking and screaming, and yeah, even, even whilst all that's going on, you'll often hear me say, "You know, you're yeah, okay. There's there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Zero wrong with you everything's totally okay what what would it be that would be saying otherwise <laughs> just just the mind that that's all yeah. every now and then every now and then it's like I can I'm vaguely, it's so vague, vaguely aware of mind making some sort of saying something, right? But it's like <clears throat> I can't even make it out. I, I literally can't, I can't make it out. But there's the sense, it's like it's so so, so, so far away. And it'll just, it's like a, like a soft whisper, a soft murmur. Just, oh, yeah. and I, I, don't, I only notice it for like, seriously, a split second. Because then, you know, my attention's then just here <laughs> with just this. <laughs> Every now and then, a little, little tiny little murmur. But I've got no idea, can't make it out. Murmur. Because it's usually, you know, like really clear, I do notice the murmur. But I have ze like zero interest in it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You know, it's just left. <laughs> uh. The big thing, Malcolm, is um, mind and the seeming personal self, it's not experiencing anything. It literally, literally cannot experience anything. Like zero, nothing, nada. Yet there's experiencing happening. And we kind of go, well, what, what the? 
what, what, what's happening here? Because, <laughs> yeah, like I get it, I can see me is just mind and thoughts and particular pattern of thoughts that's creating me and so on. But me feels like it's here. And this that is here is not the me. <laughs> that's that hijack that you sometimes hear me talk about, yeah? So this experiencing... Because most of us, you know, some in the head, but most of us um, would say, I experience the me here. Like it's an energy. I feel it. The damn me feels, that's the dead giveaway, feels real. Well, well, <laughs> the me can't feel. So... What's going on there? Because there's, there's a feeling happening. Yeah? There's an energy that's arising. <clears throat> and that's all it is. It's, it, it literally is just an energy. There's just a movement that's being experienced, really. Yeah? But for our whole life, the mind has stepped in and overlaid a big story over that movement of energy that gets experienced. Yeah. Oh, it's... <laughs> there could be any number of things, right? but it's always the same energy. It's the same energy. Sometimes it might rattle a bit more or vibrate a little harder than other, than, than other times, but it's the same energy, the same. It's not like there's not a fear energy and a happy energy, yeah? It's the same energy. Of course it's the same energy. Of course it's the same energy. The mind just steps in and overlays a big story over it. And the primary thing that overlays on it is this energy is me. I'm experiencing that. And then we spend our whole life trying to get away from it, trying to dodge it, trying to get therapy around it trying to meditate our way out of it, trying to do all sorts of weird stuff right? because, you know, mind is lab. This is not a good energy. It doesn't even call it energy. I'm feeling fear. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling shame. Whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shame. That's, that's, that can't be good. Better get into some therapy and work out what's going on with that. Because, you know, I don't want to be experiencing that. <laughs> and I'm laughing at myself when I laugh, right? Because I've been through that, all of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all that. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> I spent five years in a retreat centre doing that. <laughs> I lived like a monk. Yeah, mate, I got I got my own background. I know. Ah. <laughs> oh, <shit. sighs> So, <laughs> this, this energy, see, in the absence of consciousness, would we be aware of the energy? No. Okay. So, Is the mind or the me conscious? No. So mind or me is not experiencing it, yet there's an experience of this energy. So what might that energy be pointing to that we've been running away from our whole life? Because everyone's running from it, man. Everyone runs from it. 
oh, it's not, they, haven't, they haven't come into here on the non-dual path, yeah? And people want to get rid of that, that sensation. Sometimes referred to as, you know, the self-center or the, the core me and more like the poor me, but, you know. Um, and we want to get rid of it. I did. I did. Yeah. If I got what I wished for, oh, man, talk about ripped off. All I wanted, Malcolm, was to not feel. If I could just not feel, I'd be okay. Oh. Can you imagine not feeling anything? But then again, can you imagine how bad I must have been feeling to have that wish? Just, it was all negative. There wasn't a happy feeling going on in my body, zero. So I was happy for it to all go. That was my wish. <laughs> it was just a big story. It was total just a big story. So what I encourage people to do, and I know it, I know for some it can be awkward or difficult or people kind of aren't sure that instead of running or rejecting this, this feeling, this energy, let's just call it that, because it's sort of neutral. And it is neutral, by the way. <laughs> Instead of wishing it away, not wanting it, running from it, distracting from it, yeah. trying to anesthetize it with alcohol or drugs or, or becoming a workaholic and I mean, I'm working so I'm, I'm 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 so busy. I just don't have time to notice it. That's that can happen too. Yeah. Or um, we jump from one relationship to another, to another, to another, distracting ourselves from it. <clears throat> that energy that we've been running from our whole life is a pointer. Now, I've just labelled it an energy. It's pretty simple. You kind of don't have to, like most pointers that I might put out there, you might have to kind of sit there and ponder it for a moment and try and work out what, what's go, what, what does that pointer actually mean? Yeah. Um, if I, if, what does it mean if he created amnesia in me and would there be a me here? Like some stuff. Yeah. But I mean, there's an energy there. No one can deny that. And, and like, yeah. And I'm pointing to that energy that everyone's experiencing. Now, normally with pointers, you go there, you check it out. For a little while, you'd be looking at the, the pointing finger yeah. until eventually it kind of dawns to <laughs> look, look, and we look and we start to see. So with this energy that's being experienced in the body, yeah, go there. Like Sailor Bob had an interesting uh, take on it. He used to say, go there, fully, absolutely go there. And then he said, and once you're there, try and make it worse. <laughs> try, and make, try, and make, yeah, try and make it worse because we're diving into a place that we've been avoiding our whole life. So we're saying, go there now, try and make it worse. See if you can make it worse. <laughs> Which I thought was an interesting take, but... And then he would say, I promise you it won't kill you. And then he'd laugh. <laughs> I promise you it won't kill you. Like I can remember him saying that to me. I'm like, I don't want to go there. 
That's the last place I want to go. Are you kidding me? Like, ugh. Go there. That energy, the energy itself, is a pointer. And we've missed it our whole life. Missed it. Yeah. But it was meant to be missed until it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we've made a mistake or we fucked up along the way or, you know, why didn't I see that in that? five-year retreat or, or whatever, you know, like. <laughs> See, I can put it this way, perhaps, Malcolm, to be experiencing that energy there must be consciousness. You know, consciousness is also at this point, yeah, it's just a label. just a label, but there's something here. If you want to call it consciousness, okay. But it's not even that. <clears throat> call it awareness, all right. That's okay. Until you realise it's not even that. <clears throat> this that is not conscious, not awareness, not beingness, not this, not a... a you know, at best, you could say, all it is, is non-conceptual isness. Non-conceptual. Non-conceptual. What does that mean? Absence of. Yeah. But, that, but then even if that, that comes back, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It, it, has as much relevance as, you know, the sky's gone from a clear day to a cloudy day, honey. So, and you sometimes hear me say, are you conscious right now? And everybody goes, yeah. That's the direct experience, conscious. So that energy that we've been labelling me our whole life and have wanted it gone is not to be shied from. You know, like if you can fully, fully, fully reside there, it's just go there. Interesting thing happens when you do. The mind goes quiet. It goes quiet. That's a tip. Right? So it goes quiet. Yeah? Just stay. Yeah. Hold on, Karina. So just yeah. stay, stay there with that. Yeah? Yeah. Now... This seeming self-centered, this seeming energy, once it once it dawns on you, you can't not, Malcolm. You're you're done, man. Like you can't not. Once it once it fully dawns on you, that energy that's been going on your whole life goes. That point is not needed anymore. That just goes. Literally. <sighs> Leaves. <laughs> so 
So where you're finding yourself is where it gets really pointy. It's great. Like, it's great. This, oh, no, it feels like me's kind of, you know, what am I doing wrong? Nothing. <laughs> You're not doing anything wrong. <laughs> it's just not, this, this, it's not the me. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> See, it is not that. You go, okay, what's going on here with this energy? And go there, fully go there. It highlights something else because it's a pointer. For the, for... It gets hard to talk at this point, but you'll get it. For, for the for the energy to be happening you have to be conscious now remember I said that word conscious is a label Just try and drop that Malcolm try and drop all the labels at this point consciousness awareness being you don't need them now you don't need them yeah, just go there with this and just, it, it points out the, the most <laughs> ridiculously obvious and we've missed it our whole life because we've been running from it. I want this energy gone, like this is the me. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not <laughs> but it's shitty when there is a belief that it's me because it makes the me feel real people stumble in here I go no there's no one there and they go yeah but fuck it feels like there is <laughs> yeah, yeah I know I know it feels like there is <laughs> oh no I go no you know it's great. You've got that. You've got this time, Malcolm. Yeah, it's beautiful. You've got this time. Um, Thank you, Terry. Pleasure. Pleasure. Like, like, you. See, you know, you, this, this will sound a bit silly, but you're closer than ever. Yeah. No matter, no matter I what. I started both as well. Do you know yeah, it's yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. When you burst out laughing before, I went, I mean, there it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah.